All right, so here we have uh, the Eagle Power SA2306. This one's R2888 KV. And they come in a set of four. So these were sent in by Eagle Power for review. So thanks uh, to Eagle Power for sending these motors so I can uh, test them and with uh, various props and just have a overview to show you guys. Uh, so these uh, are new motors that are recently uh, released, made by Songshan Eagle Power Technology, and uh, they have a website rceaglepower.com, and I've seen them advertising in uh, various vendors, Banggood, I believe AliExpress, and a couple others. Uh, so let's see, they come in this box, uh, nicely packaged, very dense foam, and uh, here's a QC check. So let's uh, take it out to see what, what else is in the packaging. So it looks just like the motors and uh, uh, a set of screws. Uh, those look like M3 by 6. Uh, so that's all that comes in the package. Alright, so here's the motor out of the box. And uh, as you can see, it's got all the uh, latest features that we've come to see on the uh, new motors. Uh, naked bottom, uh, retaining screw for the shaft, and they have also a single piece shaft. This is hardened steel, and they come with a, a low profile nylock, aluminum nylock, so that's uh, nice. On the RC Group's forum, I asked them what material the motor was made, and they said uh, it is 7075 aluminum for the belt cap in the base. And they also mentioned that the shaft is at 3.175 diameter. So a little bit different size. So I'll go ahead and uh, check it out uh, when I pull this out. And that's what they said on the, on the RC groups. So interesting looking motors. You can see it's got these uh, ridges. Uh, and what they said that that's uh, to help with uh, heat dissipation. So that's pretty good because there is some heat buildup on in the magnets uh, as the motor gets uh, loaded. So, so that's inter interesting. Uh, we'll see how that works. Kind of makes sense. You increase the area exposed to the air, so you get better uh, dissipation. And this has a 19 by 16 bolt pattern for the mount. So it's the old standards. Let's see what the motor weighs. This comes with 160 millimeters of uh, wire, and this is a 20 gauge wire, so a normal gauge wire for this uh, size motor. Uh, so let's see what it weighs with 160 millimeters of uh, wire. And that says 33.2. So if we cut the wire to around 50, we get rid of that much weight, so 2.4 grams less. So that makes it about 30.8 or so, so 30.8 uh, grams. A pretty decent weight, that's, uh, that's a good weight for a 2306. So that's, that's good, it's not uh, overly heavy. Alright, so I'll uh, remove the retaining screw from one of these motors and uh, take it apart. Uh, so I already removed the screw from one of the motors and uh, it wasn't that difficult. Uh, luckily they didn't use the really hard Loctite, uh, so it, it wasn't that difficult and I didn't have to heat it up. And actually the, the screw seems to grab the allen key pretty well it's got a deep socket so that's good it's not one of those shallow head screws and they do use this aluminum uh, washer so kind of different um, and because the the shaft is only 3.15 of course the uh, the thread is going to be uh, pretty fine so luckily they didn't use the really strong loctite because with this fine thread and the small head, it would, you know, it, it, you would certainly uh, damage the screw if if, uh, if it wasn't easy to remove. So, so it's good that it was easy to remove. So okay, we'll 
pull this apart and uh, have a look under the magnifying glass. Okay, so here's the bell. So 3.17 on the uh, shaft, as the as mentioned on the RC Group's uh, post, and the shaft is not hollow all the way through, so it's only partially hollow. So you can see there. And uh, magnets, uh, they're they're saying it they're M50 magnets, and as you can see, they're not uh, overly thick. They're not chunky. They're fairly thin magnets and there is a, a lip right here so that's that's hiding uh, that's partially hiding the thickness of the magnet but still uh, uh, they seem to be a little bit thin so uh, we'll see how that uh, plays out on the thrust uh, test pretty nice kind of different nice design there's and of course there's a texture surface there so that it grabs the prop uh, to keep it from uh, slipping and here we have the stator and seems like they're using uh, multi-strand wire and let's measure the stator height let's see what it's got so there we go that, that is six millimeters and let's uh, measure this uh, bearing. So it actually looks like it's more like eight millimeter uh, bearing. So 3.1 by eight by, I can't tell the th depth, but it's, yeah, it looks like, it, it feels like it's four millimeter. So it should be four millimeter uh, thick. And let's have a look at the air gap. So if you can see if we can more or less see that right there. So air gap is doesn't look doesn't seem to be overly tight and so we'll see how that plays into the, the motor's performance. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is, and what a lot of people have been noticing, is that if in, in some motors, if you have the air gap being too tight, uh, the motor does make a lot of power, but sometimes it, it, that causes some noise. So it causes some electrical feedback when you're off throttle. So they get a little bit twitchy. And sometimes larger air, air gap is uh, some, in some cases advantageous because that makes the motor a lot smoother so it doesn't jerk when you go on and off throttle. Laminations appear to be 0.2 millimeters so again the motor has a lot of the latest uh, uh, features that we've come to expect from uh, high performance motors uh, so all right uh, well put this back together and uh, see what it can do on the thrust stand.
All right, so let's look at the thrust test results for this new motor from Eagle Power, the SA2306, 2,888 kV. And as you saw on the kV measurement, it came in at a higher uh, 3,230, so noticeably higher kV. So based on that KV, I tested on 4S and eventually I went to 5S because I noticed the amps were pretty low as well as the thrust uh, was kind of low. So kind of unexpected uh, to get this high KV, but the thrust figures are actually more in line with the 2306, 2400 KV motor. And the only thing I can think of is that the magnets are a little bit on the thin side as you saw in the teardown portion of the video the magnets are thinner than most other motors and also the air gap is not as tight as it is in other mo motors so the distance between the magnet and the face of each stator coil is uh, is somewhat uh, loose so what that does is as far as uh, uh, power it won't be as powerful as if as if you had the uh, the air gap tighter and if the magnets are not as strong as and not as thick then what happens is you end up getting higher kv but lower power on the motors so i think it's a combination of those two things because as you can see the figures are actually very close i was thinking of the aok -OK fly motor you know a motor that's the same size and uh, that one the 2306 2400 uh, aok -OK fly motor actually performs very similar to this i think it, it is very similar performance for the most part i think it, it's still about 40 to 50 grams higher uh, for some props but that's one of the close motors uh, as far as performance to this one the one advantage however in those motors that have a little bit loose air gap is that they actually may feel very smooth when you fly them so i think this motor is gonna be okay for freestyle so uh, when you transition from full throttle to off throttle it should be smooth because you don't have all that power coming in all at once there's been some motors that are aimed at freestyle and and they're kind of similar having lower strength magnets and looser air gap so that's the only thing I can think of that's making this motor not perform according to its KV. So I, I would say just consider this is a 2306, 2400. So forget about uh, this high KV actually, which is kind of strange. I never encounter a motor that has such such high KV, but as you can see, it doesn't get the high thrust, but it's also not uh, using up a lot of amps. Actually, the amps are very much in line with the thrust is producing so it's not like it's wasting any power so 1300 on uh, uh, 5045 prop and 1362 out of the 5043 by 3 so this is pretty much in line with uh, 2306 2400 2350 or so on 5s it's doing pretty well as you can see the amps are quite uh, reasonable and uh, as we move on to the heavier props the 5046 and 5045 by three thrust is approaching 1500 that's just about uh, around 50 grams off s other motors uh, which are 2400 kv uh, same size as we go to the six inch prop close to 1700 and this amps are quite manageable uh, pretty much in line with the thrust is making so that's a good thing i mean the motor's not uh, wasting any amps it's making power according to the amps it's consuming so just kind of different situation here with the KV being high, but uh, as you can see, the motor is actually performing more like a 2400 KV motor. So I mentioned this to the uh, uh, to the factory representative, the guy that sent the motors. I, you know, I told him I tested the motor several times. I I tested uh, out of the four motors, I actually ran two of them uh, just to make sure I w I didn't get one that was kind of off and uh, the results were the same so the motors are consistent uh, same kv and same thrust and uh, that's just the way they are so actually these motors should be considered more like a 2306 2350 2400 kv based on the performance uh, the numbers are pretty much in line with the motor of that kv so kind of different you know i never s had a motor with uh, that high kv and just behaving like a lower kv motor so the as i mentioned the only thing i can think of is probably the magnets because the the stator itself and the windings they look normal 
So the only thing I, thing I can think of is, is the magnets and the air gap. But other than that, uh, as you can see, the motor uh, performs pretty well. Uh, if you think about it, if you think of it as a 2400 kV motor, and it's actually fairly efficient. As you can see, the amps are very manageable uh, for the thrust it's, it's producing. So, so it's got that going for it. And also, I'm thinking it's gonna be smooth uh, for uh, freestyle. So, as I mentioned before, due to the larger air gap, it'll probably be very smooth in transition when you jerk the throttle around. You know, on and off throttle, it won't feel jerky. Uh, so there you go, that's the thrust test results for this motor, the Eagle Power SA2306 2888. Hope you find it that useful, and uh, until the next video.